Alan gifted the goals away tonight. Same old story, three goals. I don't think they had to do anything for them, three goals. First one, basic error from free kick. Didn't attack the ball. Second one, it was laughable when you look at it. We just got ourselves into the game and scored a fantastic goal. Got ourselves back into it and then to gift a goal like that, it was, it was laziness and I've told them that it was lazy. They never come up quick enough, they just idled up and it's cost them in the end. That second goal cost them. And then the third one, there's too many people to stand watching that after like, Josh's challenge and he hasn't got a clean header. But then there's too many people standing and watching it rather than thinking if he doesn't make a key connection, can I get there first? And Lids has held his hands up in there, but it wasn't just him. I thought there was other bodies in there, just didn't react quick enough. And we looked off the pace. First half, played some good football at times, also good interchanges, opened up uh, Curzon on three or four occasions, but didn't quite get that goal until they'd gone one nil up. No, I thought the first 20 minutes, I thought we played some good stuff, and I think we were in ascendancy, and then for some unknown reason, we took the foot off the gas a little bit and dropped too deep and let them have a go, and the number 10 was causing all kinds of problems once we stepped off them and let them play. And I couldn't understand why they were, why they dropped off, why the lads had dropped off, whether it was tiredness or what, but it wasn't an instruction. So we had to go to the North Town and make sure that they got a little bit higher. But that second goal, it, as I say, it's so annoying. It's, it's, it's a basic schoolboy era. We, we've, come, we've cleared the ball, then Wills ran past our centre horse, and from a deeper position, and we're centre horse are still playing everyone on side. They've got to learn and got to learn quickly that that cannot happen. They've got to get up the pitch as soon as they clear the lines. They've got to get up the pitch. And that's very disappointing, isn't it? After the great performance on Saturday against Catron. No, yeah, it's back, back to earth with a bump in it. It's we it just said in there. I think them had the intensity what we had on Saturday, and it, it, we kind of play if we drop we're intense. We've got to play that intensity, and I say for 20 minutes, I thought it was good. But then we took the foot off the gas. Then probably had the better of the first half, or the, the second part of the first half. And that second goal just absolutely killed her. And then I said to the lads, let's start with a high press, really high, get at them. But then the mistakes cost her again for the third goal. And you look at their three goals, and again, I can only remember one goal that's been a good goal scored against her. Even that come from a mistake it was the Fosley one, the first goal he puts in the top in. Other than that, the goals that we'll give away are just so cheap. And look at the way we scored the goal. <laughs> We've got to score really good goals to score the goal. We're not getting gifted goals. And that's a frustrating part. Yeah. In the second half, we didn't really get our foot on the ball, did we? And get uh, the wide men into the game. And that fluency wasn't there in the second half. It just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough from us. And I said to the lads, are they using the fatigue and the tiredness as an excuse? Because it was the same for them. Yes. yes, we had to do a little bit of travelling, but it's not fault. So it was the same playing the four games in nine days. But as I say, it's just so disappointing after sad day to come down to that. And I said, they've got to stop feeling sorry for themselves after they concede a goal. And it was a great reaction when we did concede the first one because we come back and equalised straight away. So that was chuffed a bit with that. But then the second to concede like that, that's that's just schoolboys. You sprung a little bit of surprise, but not Josh Heaton from the start, as uh, Terry Galbraith? Yeah, Tez had a dead leg on Sadda, and I, I was touch and go whether he was going to start on Sadda, so I thought this is an opportunity to give Josh a go. And to be fair, I think I probably rushed him in a little bit too early. Um, it's probably not. He hasn't played a lot of pre-season games, but I need to try and get him. The only way I'm going to get him fit is by playing games. And I think he was a little bit rusty, I think you could say that. But again, we'll, we'll see. I've got to try and keep the lads ticking over and try and make sure that they're ready for next week as well now. Yeah, got a bounce back against Southport on Saturday and uh, put in another catch and performance. No, yeah, they've got to. <laughs> this is what this season's going to be. It's a learning curve. It's going to be a big transition. But we've got to make sure that our home games, we've got to turn Blackwell into a fortress and perform like we can and keep doing that because at the minute we're not keeping enough clean sheets to go now and win the game but we've got to make sure that we're up the game it's just that wasn't good enough tonight from us we know that as a management team as a, a squad of players we're hurting we know that but uh, we'll work extremely hard in the training ground to make sure that we'll put it right